is Hanson again. I don't know why the people boo him. I love Hanson. I don't know why these people are booing him. I think it's disrespectful. Frank Krasnowski again. New Hampshire weighs 194 pounds. Ryan Fury. Well, the ball rolls on here at Defiant Pro Wrestling's Through the Fire. Serena Nichols, Big Daddy ringside, and here comes Brian Fury. Fill us in, Serena. Now, Brian Fury, of course, involved in GTW's Cruiser of Chaos at the first show from the Acid. He actually made it to the final match against Mikey Bass. Uh, he wrestled three matches that night, and uh, tried, or two matches that night, I apologize, and tried his best to take it to Mikey Bass, but... As we already know, Mikey Bass was the best cruiserweight in the country. Walked away with the cruiserweight gold here at DPW. He is going to be facing EC Negro in this match, who we've already discussed earlier in the show, one half of the Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. A very good tag team, the Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. And here comes one of my personal favorites, EC Negro. We go back like every time or two. We've been known to tip a few back in the bar. Negro, of course, primarily known for his work within, within the Dirty Rotten Scandal, is an extremely strong singles competitor. He's not necessarily known as a cruiserweight. He's perhaps more of a light heavyweight, for lack of a better phrase. Brian Fury, very well known as a cruiserweight, much more of a high flyer. I expect this match to be, a, you know, a match of style. If Brian Fury can keep the, the, the match fast paced and moving and flying off the top rope of the puzzle, he'll walk away with the victory. It means he may go to keep the match on the mat, and he will have a distinct advantage over Fury. And they're coming out with EC Negro Wings, I believe. That, I, that is the Luscious Lily now. Um, Big Daddy, you said you like the Derriere. I think uh, Luscious Lily's got more to spare there than uh, you can well, find She is with EC Negro. Her uh, Derriere looks like 10 bald heads pushed together, but I don't want to comment about it. We're here to talk about Brian Fury, EC Negro. EC Negro is definitely the bigger of the two grapplers here tonight in DPW. I'd have to say Brian Fury looks to be in good shape. And this ought to be an outstanding match at Through the Fire. Now over the last three months, an EC Negro has had to wrestle singles competition since his tag team partner Casey Blade was injured. Um, he has definitely made a name for himself. He too is calling for a microphone at this point. Well, let's listen to what EC Negro has to say, Selena. One, two, one, two. No odds. I have something to say to you. Straight Brian Fury with your big dopo ears. I'm pretty sure you can hear me loud and clear when I tell you that I have absolutely no respect for you or Canadian professional wrestling. Well, EC Negro breaking it down here, and I agree, I agree with him about the Connecticut fans. I have no respect for the Connecticut That's fans. <laughs> Everything I do is great. I have many problems now. The greatest wrestler this universe has ever seen. I know for a fact that you heard of me, that you heard of me, and that your girlfriend has heard of me. I've heard of BC Negro, Selena. I have heard of him. But you know what? I can beat you. I can beat you, fat man. I can beat you, hell. And I can beat every single one of you people in the audience. As a matter of fact, I can beat everybody in the back. That's, That's a whole how statement. That easy negro is. So, Brian Fury, get ready to have your ass handed to you. Dirty rocks. A bold statement by EC Negro breaking it down here at DPW. He left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. Well, that's fairly a typical behavior for EC Negro, unfortunately. And I think sometimes uh, his actual wrestling skills are overshadowed by that bad attitude. Well, not for nothing. Straight Edge Brian Fury didn't seem to be phased by it too much. He seems very disinterested, and he is the straight edge. Which, of course, means no alcohol, no drugs, and, you know, in some extremes, no sex. Well, I can't agree with those three. I can agree with the no drugs thing, another PSA. But somebody's here at ringside, so I'm just breaking down. Selena, who's this? It looks like Jay Lethal. 
Here he is, the phenomenal Jay Lethal. He's in great shape. Jay Lethal, an unbelievable independent wrestler, soon to be, in my mind, in the WWE. Lethal is stepping into the ring. It looks like something else we weren't informed of, maybe another three-way dance. Well, you know, EC Negro said he could beat anyone in the locker room, and I did see Jay Lethal back there. I didn't realize he had his wrestling gear with him. Well, I guess that's why Jay Lethal's out here. Now they're drawing back and forth. I don't know what's going to happen here. I see another derriere has made it to ringside. And that would be Alicia, for those of you keeping score at home. Alicia, looking good at ringside here. The more the merrier, I say. Oh, what an unbelievable shot by EC Negro taking out the straight edge. Jay Lethal shows him how it's done. Pretty much a school of chops here on Brian Fury. And he's getting a short end of the stick. Another big chop, Ryan Fury. That's leaving well, Selena. The chops are so hard, his back is turning red. Jay Lethal with another big chop on Brian Fury. And Brian Fury here is, is taking a beating. Referee Sean Hansen calling for the bell. He was eight, ten feet in the air on that backdrop. Double team backdrop. Brian Fury very wisely rolling out of the ring. Hopefully to get a breather, because those chops will knock the breath out of him. Well, E.C. Negro with a big clothesline at Jay Lethal, and then a few jumping jacks for the fans. And now he's back, Jay Lethal into the corner. This looks like it's breaking down as a three-way. A beautiful donkey kick. Sunset rollover for a pin. Where's Brian Fury? And I gotta, I gotta say, once again, do not underestimate the singles ability of E.C. Negro. Brian Fury outside of the ring, finally making his way back in. A beautiful maneuver by Jay Lethal. Fury up on the top rope, nobody sees him. Beautiful missile drop kick by Straight Edge. The drop kick basically rolling Lethal out to the barricades here in the front row here at DPW. Nice slam by Fury, here's the cover. Jay Lethal's outside of the ring. Now Fury, you know, seems to have his work cut out for him because it seems like Negro and Lethal are gunning for him. So uh, by keeping one of them isolated outside the ring, probably the best move Brian Fury can make. Beautiful neck breaker by Straight Edge Brian Fury. Here's the cover. Jay Lethal back in the ring to break up the pin. And more Fury here's at ringside running by Big Daddy. Yeah, Big Daddy, if you can concentrate on the action in the ring. I'm being distracted, Selena. And a big elbow there by Jay Lethal onto Brian Fury. Well, Jay Lethal is a guy right now that travels the country in the independent circuit. A phenomenal athlete, a great wrestler, and soon, in my opinion, will be at OVW or under contract somewhere. Nice roll up here by EC Negro. Here's the cover. A series of maneuvers here. A nice double clothesline by EC Negro. EC Negro, you know, reading the, reading the moves of his opponents more probably before they, his opponents know what they're going to do. Well, he should have never challenged anybody in the back because that brought out Jay Lethal. That's probably the one mistake he's made tonight. I agree. Yeah. Beautiful double flapjack. E.C. Negro got dropped right on his cranium. All three men are stunned. And once again, that was from a very high drop. Again, another six to eight foot drop there. Well, this is a high-paced, fast match right now. A series of pins here being broke up by Jay Lethal and Brian Fury. And there's a lot of action here at ringside with the ladies at ringside. What, who, again, the derriere over there? The, the, the one in the pink is Alicia. Alicia going at it with the fans here at ringside. Double team effort here on EC Negro. Beautiful maneuver. Nice pitch. EC Negro that now, again, using Big Daddy math, a two count on two wrestlers simultaneous is a four count. A four count he should have won. Beautiful maneuver by Jay Lethal. Same maneuver repeated by Brian Fury. EC Negro out at, rolls out of the ring.